pretty interesting, um, a lot different than um, any other record I think I've done um, because obviously we had, uh, everybody had the pandemic hit and that put Carrie and I, we planned on getting together a lot sooner in 2020, um, but obviously for obvious reasons we couldn't get together. So that kind of put us back like a couple years. And uh, during that amount of time, Carrie kept writing um, and we kept communicating. He would send me drum charts and stuff, which, which is the way we usually work anyway. But there was just a lot more material. And when we finally got together, I think the first seven days we were together, we demoed 10 songs. Uh, not all of them are on this record. Um, hopefully some of, you, some of them will be on um, future recordings. But um, it kind of, I think the way it was different um, in that sense, in terms of rehearsing, was uh, I think because of the time away and the fact that there was so much material written, it made me, it kind of streamlined how I work with Carrie. Um, it, it, I know what he wants, you know, and we work together really well. And I think that was the thing that we leaned on. And um, that's the thing I leaned on. And I just, the fact that we wanted to get, we were kind of on fire, you know? It's like we wanted to get like music done. You know, it's like, not, not uh, we don't want to sacrifice quality at all, but it was that we were working in such an efficient manner that in prior years, it, we, we still worked hard, but this was just, I wish we'd have found this early on in our career together because now it's like when we, when, when we, when he writes something, I know what's coming, you know what I mean? It's, and it's not predictable, but it's like, it's kind of, um, just a streamlined process that you know it, that I'm really confident with. There was no shadow hanging over my head, um, and, and I mean that because of you know uh, Slayer. You know, I mean, there's always the legacy of Dave, and um, and that's a standard that needs to be met, in my opinion, as a drummer, and I respect that. And uh, but on but on this project, it was I just went, I'm just going to do me all the way. All the way, and, and I never didn't do that with, with with Slayer, but with this, it was just there was no, there was no, there wasn't that legacy hanging over my head in terms of that. There was just this new path. Kerry writes how he writes, and I I play how I play, and it's still always going to be the same. And that element is, you know, it's continued on because it's we got to be us. That's what we are. But um, it wasn't anything to prove. It was just, um, we were on fire because it had been so long, I think. And we, we were dying to get back to it. And I think that's the same thing with all these guys. It's, it's, it's new, like you said, um, it's exciting. And uh, um, you know, the, the group, the core group of guys are so cool. You know, I mean, we've got three Bay Area guys in the band and you know, we all know each other. And then, you know, Kyle, like everybody's super cool. Like they, they're professional, super motivated. And you know the material's there, and we're all psyched. I'm all about no seconds. I basically used the same kit. I streamlined the kit a little bit. I took the eight, the eight and the ten off the kit, and I kind of went with more of just a two up, two down um, uh, process with this. I just felt that you know I wanted the when you add like the higher toms in there, there's a tendency to want to use them, and I just. I think the lower toms for me, they're heavier, and I wanted this music. There was some stuff. There's some stuff that was almost like um, Herman Rabel um, of the Scorpions, kind of inspired, like heavy Black Sabbathy stuff. And it's, I'm really into the heavy stuff, so you know, didn't take. I mean, that's that's kind of where I've always kind of been. Um, it, it's you know, it's funny. Drums are simple, aren't they? You know, so it's like you know, there's a kick, there's a snare, and there's cymbals, there's things to hit, and. The only thing that really matters is the kicks and the snare. So all the rest, nobody really will miss, but I would, but two up, two down. Absolutely not, actually. Um, I used this snare on the record, which is the first record I think I've ever used my touring snare on. Usually I um, will go in the studio and we'll try a few different snares and the one that kind of, we go, yeah, that's the one, we'll use that one. In this record, we did try different snares. We tried about five different snares and some really good ones. And at the end of the day, we came back to this one and it was like, there, that's the sound.
those were uh, Evan's drum heads. Uh, we changed for the record. Usually I use the black chromes. And the bottom are rezo heads, black rezo heads. Um, I used the black rezo heads on the record. Um, I, I don't know the, the number. I think it's EC2 or something for the record. The producer wanted to use those. But I could have used the black chromes. It would have been the same thing. So, um, and the kick drum heads were, um, were the EC2s, clear.